global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. Some few hours ago, Bola Matinubo had to take time and explain to Nigerians what transpired between the issue of his Guinean passport that became an issue in FA in PEPT case and, of course, the fact that he's now the president of Nigeria. Fast forward, um, FBI, United States of America, and FBI have decided also to mention over that same issue of um, 460,000 uh, uh, seizure, a uh, dollar for feature that took place. And of course, Nigerians are endlessly waiting for the full details of that. We're going to give full details on what transpired. But before we do that, kindly subscribe to our channel by clicking on the right subscribe button. Beside it, you see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Well, the United States uh, Department and Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, uh, have reviewed when they will release Nigerian's president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu's criminal and immigration records to the public. In a court document cited by journalists, the FBI and the United States Department cited unusual circumstances for the inability to release the records to the public yet. While reacting to a freedom of information request, the United States authorities said that even if they were to release the demanded records of the Nigerian president, it will be at least until January 2026 before they could do so. The question is why. Well, we learned that uh, it was learned that a civil lawsuit has been has now been filed over the matter before Judge Bell Howell of the United States District Court for the District of Columbia in Washington D.C. Uh, Tunibu's criminal record on demand. Before now, an American public disclosure activist Aaron Greenspan had filed a request to the FBI. State Department, Department of Treasury and Drug Enforcement Administration, among federal and local agencies, seeking an urgent release of Tinubu's immigration and criminal records. It was also learned that the demand was made following Tinubu's claims in the court, following Tinubu's claim in the court that he did not commit any crimes during his stay in the United States. While President Tinubu is also said to have asserted ownership of his identity. Despite strong indications, he might have changed names and education records in the past. Recall that recall that there have been a series of controversies over Tinubu's, uh, President Tinubu's real identity. Tinubu's contradictory records, the former governor of Lagos State educational records, contain omissions and contradictions that are yet to be cleared to the, to the general public. Well, for instance, the Nigerian president has said on the oath to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, while seeking to be Lagos governor in 1999 that he attended the prestigious University of Chicago. The university has since disowned Tinubu. Another American school, Chicago State University, confirmed Ebola Tinubu attended the school but did not say whether it was the Nigerian president. Document from the School showed that a person bearing Bola Tunubu, who attended the school in 1970s, was actually a female. Tunubu also stated under oath in 1999 that he attended primary and secondary schools in Lagos and Ibadan in 1950s and 1960s, but he expunged the, those accessions from his latest INEC application form ahead of this year's general elections in February. He did not explain why he removed the claims, although there was no evidence that the primary school he said he attended ever existed in Nigeria. Recall that Tunibu was also named as a launderer of proceeds of what took place in 1993 in the United States, of which it was reportedly forfeited 460,000 US dollars as at that time. The records formed a key part of an ongoing challenge to Mr. Tinubu's election as president of Nigeria before a tribunal hearing election. Uh, petitions in Abuja. The, this prompted Mr. Greenspan, who runs Plainsight, a website that holds and fights 
from American courts and institutions and institutions to file multiple requests to U.S. authorities in possession of documents that could help clarify some of the crucial questions of certain Nigerian minds. The State Department is believed to have records of whether or not the person who applied for a U.S. visa and traveled as well as Tinubu in the 1970s is the same person running Nigeria today. However, the FBI is expected to throw more light on how Tinubu became involved in the issues at hand in the United States and other criminal charges that he might have faced but which were not in public records. This office will not be able to respond within the 20 days provided by the statute due to unusual circumstances, the State Department said in a May 15, 2023 letter to Mr. Greenspan, Previously, on August 4, 2022, the FBI sent a message to Mr. Greenspan saying, please be advised that unusual circumstances apply to the processing uh, of your request. But on March 2022, uh, I think that again, on March 2022, 2023, the FBI said it would try to release all documents relating to Tunable in its possession, but not until January 2026. At the earliest, other agencies, including the Department of Treasury, Internal Revenue Service, and the Drug Enforcement Administration, also said they wouldn't release the document on the same grounds. The FBI also said uh, Mr. Grispan failed to demonstrate that the requested information is in the public interest because it is likely to contribute significantly to public understanding of the operations and activities of the government. However, the activists promptly responded by detailing how Tinubu's uh, drug issues or for future can in Chicago draw the most eyes to his organizations over the past year. And all the agencies have now been summoned to appear in court to show cause why records relating to a Nigerian president were deemed unusual and inconsequential to be released to the public. On July 17, Assistant U.S. Attorney Gerard Littman entered an appearance at the as the lawyer representing all the agencies and promptly requested a delay until August 28, 2023 to file a response to the, to the lawsuit which was instituted on June 12, 2023 by the People's Gazette. Uh, by, I think that again, which was instituted on June 12, 2023, the People's Gazette reported. Now, this is um in line with what is going on right now, don't forget that there's been a case on this same matter. And I could also remember one of um, uh, one of uh, Peter Obi's uh, friend and associate, uh, friend, I call him friend, who also have been supporting, though an American, has also been supporting, has actually also written to that same effect of, on that same issue. And of course, they were unable to also release the information. Nigerians are wondering. Of course, that case came up um, during the PEPT case, where one of the I think majority minority leader, a lawmaker also who claims also that he's an attorney, he has a power of attorney in the United States, where he did claim uh, that um, the case was not a criminal case. I'm talking about Bola Metinibu's 460,000 US dollar for feature. So it was not a criminal case, but just a civil case and all that. So Nigerians were really curious. We want to hear from the horses, man. We want to hear from the agencies involved in the United States. That's going to wrap it up. Let's be to that comment to show us.